Thank you to the chairman. In the era of the pandemic, virtual events are being used as a platform for anti-Semitism. It is with horror that I update Israel's parliament today that a major American university is about to host a terrorist. Just weeks after the commemoration of 9-11, San Francisco State University will be giving its stage to a terrorist who, with a grenade in her hand, held passengers on planes hostage. This is Leila Khalid. She's a terrorist who hijacked multiple planes, including TWA Flight 840, on its way from Rome to Tel Aviv. She's part of the PFLP, which is classified as a terrorist organization in the United States, as well as Canada, Israel, and the European Union. Though thankfully she didn't succeed in mass murder, hosting Khaled is no different from allowing a 9-11 hijacker to speak at a university event. Khaled has been invited to give a virtual seminar on gender, justice, and resistance hosted by a division of SFSU's College of Ethnic Studies. Now, San Francisco State University President Lynn Mahoney has issued a statement about the convicted terrorist coming to her campus, but disappointingly did not name the terrorist or the PFLP in her statement. President Mahoney and SFSU should consider inviting families of the innocent victims of PFLP terrorism and other voices. There are many victims to choose from. Adva Tsipar official was 19 when the PFLP blew her up while she waited for a bus. Leon Kanna was 21 and Eddie Joffe 22 when the PFLP carried out a bomb attack in the supermarket where they were shopping. The list of PFLP victims goes on and on and hosting a PFLP terrorist is a chilling event. It sends a message to Jewish students on campus and Jews in general. It says Jewish blood is cheap. It says that a trust is committed against Jews do not matter. It says that this form of resistance, which is included in the title of her speech, might be legitimate. This shameful event will give an unrepentant terrorist the stage to glorify her actions in a country, America, that has been so scarred by airplane hijacking. It is an affront to the 9-11 victims and to all victims of terror. And it is especially disturbing that a division of the College of Ethnic Studies is hosting this event shortly after a bill was passed in California making ethnic studies a graduation requirement in the California State University system. This illustrates the crucial need for the CSU administration to ensure that this requirement does not become a platform for systematically promoting anti-Israel and anti-Semitic bias. As you know, Leila Khalid, the renowned terrorist, is uh, unfortunately has been invited to speak at a virtual event at San Francisco State University, which is obviously a disgrace that in this month when we remember the victims of 9-11, and with Israel has suffering so much through terrorism, it's an affront not just to Israel, but to the Jewish students on campus, and says to them the message that unfortunately Jewish blood is cheap. And I, and I just want to maybe add on to that and say that it's not just an affront on the Jewish students or on Israel. Uh, the enabling and the con of the continued culture of impunity that this represents in terms of terrorists, convicted and otherwise, throughout the world, in our region and beyond, is really a testament to our imperative to expose the double standard that would en enable university campuses to host uh, a PFLP terrorist on their campus for such a lecture, and the implications are dire to the ability to uphold and promote and protect international law and human rights globally.